Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky met with British Prime Minister Keir Starmer. The Ukrainian leader wrote about this on his Telegram channel. Zelensky said that several important issues were discussed at the meeting. The parties touched upon the situation at the front and the issue of long-range weapon supplies. In addition, Zelensky informed Starmer about the approval of the maritime security strategy of Ukraine. Zelensky asked UK Prime Minister Keir Starmer to demonstrate his leadership. It is about authorizing strikes against Russia, The Guardian reports. In his address to the British Cabinet of Ministers, the publication writes, that Zelensky said that, if the restriction on Western weapons is lifted, it will help Kiev strengthen its defense and secure its advanced positions. He said that, it is possible to destroy areas in Russia where weapons are concentrated. Regarding long-range capabilities, Zelensky said, we are still missing the main answer to this question, and told the Prime Minister, I ask you to show your leadership on the issue. Zelensky said that the ability to use Western weapons to strike Russian territory is important to Ukraine's efforts to defend itself against Russian attacks. The UK government, in turn, said that the deployment of British missiles is ultimately a matter for Ukraine, as long as it complies with international law. Starmer called Zelensky's visit to Downing Street a real event in history. This is a very, very important meeting for us and we are very pleased to have you here. It is a great pleasure and privilege to welcome you to Downing Street this morning. This is a real piece of history, he said. Starmer said Ukraine had Britain's unwavering support and that Russia's aggression was inexcusable and cannot go unpunished. such strong support and trust of the United Kingdom and this is the first meeting of the British cabinet of this kind thank you so much I truly hope that this meeting of, of the new British government's work will open up more shared opportunities for us Ukraine and the UK